Welcome back to Margo and Ken Lifestyle. Welcome back. Back, back, back. Yeah. You done? Okay, my bad. <laughs> Today, we will be talking about worldly riches versus heavenly riches. Yeah. Worldly versus heavenly. Worldly versus heavenly. Man, worldly versus heavenly. That is so amazing. I say that in every video. Yeah, <laughs> you do. I mean, it really is because God really amazes me. Like, it's, I think that's the reason why I love him so much because he amazes me. Like, he just refreshes. I, I feel like I get so smart the more I receive revelation from him. Like, the more he shows me things that's in the Bible that has been in there for over thousands of years and people have never seen it and he now reveals it to me and I'm able to speak it to y'all and that's just amazing so I guess it, it really is amazing every week because we always have something new to talk about because you know what we didn't give y'all a video last week because of the Thanksgiving break so we so sorry about sorry. that uh we I had to fly to Kentucky and she went to go see her parents so yeah. <sighs> so all right, we we're back, back at it. We're back. Oh, we're on the same track. Yeah, we're back. We said that almost at the same time. Wow. And we were going to make this video last week. Like you said, things happen. But I'm glad we did it because we got more knowledge and more revelation on what we were going to talk about. So everything happens for a reason. All right, so she said worldly riches versus heavenly riches. Now, this is a statement that can be very debatable amongst a lot of Christians and amongst a lot of unbelievers. A lot of Christians feel like they should be, you know, broke, you know, poor, you know, always giving, 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 never receiving, receiving, receiving. They just always feel like, you know, it's my duty to just always give all my pennies and everything that I got. But the reason why they say that is because they hear a lot of stories in the Bible where God is saying, give all of your possessions. But the reason why God is saying, give all of these possessions was because these people's heart wasn't right in the first place. Exactly. So he's making them lose all of their worldly possessions to gain heavenly possessions. Now, heavenly possessions aren't just built up in heaven, but they're also built up in the earth. Yeah. God is wanting to give us rewards for our obedience in the earth. Not out of works, but out of obedience. Oh, yes, exactly. And another thing um, that I heard today from a an amazing person named Rick Joyner. If you don't know him, you should look him up. And he said, the Lord will bless things he won't inhabit. Basically saying, the Lord will bless you um, and things you want to do, but he may not always inhabit those things situations and scenarios because that's not really what he had planned or you're not including him in it just like I was telling him earlier so a father and a son a father will give a son money to do something to bless him but the father is not necessarily involved he just bless the situation so God wants to be involved so he can bless you and he can make manifest what he's trying to do in your life so he, we want to be the dwelling place for God. And then the blessings are all just a plus added on. Because whenever he's, God is dwelling in your situation and what you're doing, you will see blessings beyond measure, beyond anything you can think of, and really see how he works and how powerful he is. And I know um, some people feel like, you know, when they go to God way, God is moving too doggone slow. Mm, <laughs> true. God is moving too slow. Oh my goodness. But I'm going to tell you something. Our timing and God's timing is too complete. First of all, God ain't on our timing. He said our thoughts are not his thoughts, our ways are not his ways. Yeah. So actually that that's that's beneficial to us because he's thinking things that we're not thinking of. And his ways are not our ways. like So that means whatever he's doing is going to be even greater. It's going to be things that we can even imagine for ourselves. I was actually reading a story in Luke 12. And it was talking about, it was a parable for a rich fool. 
And there was a guy who was a very um, wealthy crop grower. And he said that he doesn't have any more room in his barn to store up all of his crops. So he said, look, I'm going to build a bigger barn, fit all my crops in there. In current terms, I'm going to put all my money in the bank. You know what I'm talking about? Put all my money in the bank. If that bank can't hold more, I'm going to get another bank, put more money in there. Save it up, save it up. Keep it all to myself. But God called that man a fool because he would rather stack his riches in the world than have a rich relationship with God. Mm -hmm. And God called him a fool for doing that. And so God is not saying, you know, just give all of your possessions away. He's saying, no, I want a genuine relationship with you. I want a genuine rich relationship with you and he's also saying the things that you have store them your riches your wealth store them in the right place invest so into the right things so that way you reap the benefits of it you don't just give and give god wants to bless you he wants you to receive tenfold of what you've given so don't just store things away and keep your money to yourself and put it in a bank somewhere or something like that because that's really whenever God blesses you with wealth he wants you to he wants you to be wealthy but in order to be the wealth that he has acquired for you you have to invest and you have to sow into the right places so you can reach that point point. if you had to move to another country and you knew you could not take anything with you mm -hmm. say you were moving to this country within two months okay you can't take anything with you at all whenever you leave. When you leave. Because when you leave Earth, you can't, you're, that's it. You can't take anything with you. Mm -hmm. So he was saying, you have two months basically, and the day you leave, you can't take anything with you. What would you do? He said you would send a certain thing or a certain amount of things each day up until that point. So basically he was saying, so that way whenever you get there, at the end of that two months, you have everything you had here mm -hmm. at your new place. And that's exactly what God is teaching us is that you, you, when you leave earth, that's, that's it. You have your soul and you go to heaven and your riches are in heaven. So why not send something each day or many things each day till you get to heaven, till you get to the heavenly riches and wealth? Because it's going to be greater there than it is here. So when you send something each day, it's like as, as it, it multiplies as it gets to heaven, basically. Like he was saying is you send one thing a day or a few things a day. You know, you sow those things to God. You give those things to God and make that investment. And those assets in heaven just grow, basically. And you, re you reap all these blessings in heaven. And God blesses you here on earth, too, while you're doing it. I know right now y'all probably mainly thinking about money and uh, success, cars, whatever, getting all of this stuff in the earth by, you know, um, obedience to your call. But there's also, you know, mental health that you receive. You know, mm -hmm. you're able to bring spiritual guidance to other people just by having this wealth that's built up in heaven and that's now being manifested in the earth. So it's, it's way more, way more benefits than just wealth in your pockets. Yeah. You know, I I will say that I read this one thing. It says the it's basically realistically what is rich uh, worldly riches versus heavenly riches, and it says worldly riches come with worry. You're basically worried because one the economy could crash, two you're having to rely on others, and three there's no guarantee that you can't wake up tomorrow and go bankrupt or something crazy happen. And then it said on the other side of king, the, re, the reality of kingdom wealth, heavenly riches, is peace. Because God is the ultimate source of your provision. Mm. And that's the only, that's the one thing. The others had three and there's many more. But for the kingdom riches, you only, you have no worry. You have peace because you know who your healer is, you know who your provider is. You don't have to worry. So like you said, mental, mental, um, mental, emotional, physical, all of those are in God's hands. Whenever you realize that you're, you have to focus on your kingdom riches, your kingdom wealth, because the worldly stuff 
can be gone in less than 24 hours. I mean, just like in the last video of Egypt, we talked about how the enemy would, uh, you know, how we enjoy the things of sin, but don't enjoy the things that um, happen to us from the inside and how the enemy wants to destroy us from the inside. And so we know if we build all of this worldly wealth, we're also losing our soul. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're losing who we are within because we're chasing after things in the world, the worldly way. Mm -hmm. And so if we, if we are chasing after God and he said, all of these things will be added unto us. Hold on. Wait, what? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> My bad. My bad. He said, Chase basically seek him and all of these things will be added unto us. So that means if something is being added to you, it's not something you're necessarily working for. Mm -hmm. You're seeking God as, as long as you seek him, he's going to add these things onto you. But if you're doing it the worldly way, the worldly way says, okay, go here and add this on your plate. Go there and add this on work, your plate. Work, 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 work. Mm -hmm. There you go. More kingdom wisdom, more kingdom knowledge from Margo and Ken. She didn't like the MKL, so we just said Margo and Ken lifestyle or however you want to put it. Hey, if y'all ever want us to talk about anything else, let us know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and like, you know, because uh, God is speaking. True. Big you know? Thanks. She said big facts. Hey. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. We'll see y'all. Peace.